Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, April 24th, and this is Serge Bogosian, the Hockey Guru. Um, today, today we're going to have a little bit of a more somber, somber vlog. It was a, a very eventful day yesterday in my hometown of Toronto. Unfortunately, you guys may have heard um, a maniac driving a van on, on a busy street in Toronto mowed down, uh, killing 10 people and injuring another 15. A very sad day. It, it, it gets it makes everything into perspective yeah we talk about sports and we get all excited but um, at the end of the day it was a, it was a very tough day for my for myself and for the people in Toronto and for the for everybody involved um, but unfortunately the the life had to go on in the hockey world and it's it's a, it's interesting to see that these players are having a war on the ice they hate each other while they're on the ice but uh, it was great to see. The um, they all came together and uh, and big support of each other, the players, the franchises, and the cities. Um, Boston actually haven't been through something similar a few years ago, so it was it was good to see. It. There was a moment of silence before the game last night, um, and it was a very emotional atmosphere in uh, in Toronto. And again, our thoughts and prayers are are with all the victims and their families and. Hope that the injured get um, get well soon, and uh, our prayers are with them. Let's get to the action. Um, the Leafs and the Bruins. Here we are again. What a game! After that emotional start, it was it was game six, do or die situation for the Toronto Maple Leafs, and um, they came to play again. It's been in interesting. Um, this series started off really bad for Toronto. They just didn't, didn't seem to show up. Maybe it was their rough um, the way they finished the regular season. We had talked about this before. They um, did not play a significant game. They knew their fate three weeks, a month before the season ended. And it showed. The first couple of games, they weren't in it. The last three, two to three, two games at least, three games, the Leafs have been there. Um, the Leafs just look like they're here to win this thing. And did they ever come to play? A great start by both teams. It was an, it was an amazing first period action both ways. Both goalies making great saves. A score, a scoreless first period. Um, it was back and forth. It was a great game to watch. Very stressful if you're a Toronto fan, obviously. Uh, Boston opened the scoring um, in the second period. However, the Leafs responded within 35 seconds to tie the game. They score another goal that got called back to this ridiculous goaltender interference. This is, has to be fixed in the offseason. It's just ridiculous. Goaltender interference. Like, I'm, I'm a proponent of goalies. My son plays goalie. I want to defend the goalies, but every little tippy tappy, come on, it's enough. All these goals that are getting canceled, if it's a penalty, call a penalty, but it, it's just another goal, it's just deflating. But the Leafs didn't give up, uh, they scored with 13 minutes left on a beautiful backhand goal by Mitch Marner to go up 2-1. to one. Uh, After 2, 20 minutes to go, they were there, and um, what can we say in the third period? It was just a phenomenal performance. Throughout the whole game, actually, Freddie Anderson is the reason the Leafs are here. I've been saying this all year. The Leafs have some great players. The Leafs have Austin Matthews, who had a great year despite being injured. The Leafs have Mitch Marner. The Leafs have William Nylander, uh, Nazem Kadri, JVR, who had a great year, Naz um, Tyler Bozak, the defensive end. Uh, they got some good fourth-line players now. But the reason the Leafs are where they are today is Freddie Anderson. Freddie Anderson had a career year. Freddie Anderson had a couple of bad games to start the series, but Freddie Anderson is the reason this is going back to Boston on Wednesday. He shut the door. Um, a phenomenal game, again, and an emotional night in Toronto. But uh, Freddie Anderson is the reason. Like I said, seventh game. What can you ask for? There's only one seventh game in the uh, NHL first round, and that's thank you. That's thanks to the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Boston Bruins are going back to the Garden on um, Wednesday night. So Toronto's through. That means we're only down to nine teams. Nine teams are left in pursuit of Stanley. Why is there nine? Because the Columbus Blue Jackets, you're out of here. The Columbus Blue Jackets, um, it, it was tough for them. Columbus Blue Jackets had a really good series. They started the series two games to nothing. When you win two games on the road in overtime, um, actually, first time in NHL history this has ever happened. Washington Capitals are the first team in NHL history to lose two overtime games at home 
and come back to win the series. They came back after those two tough losses. They won four in a row. And, um, yeah, the Washington Capitals win it last night, 66-3. to three. Uh, Bobrovsky, again, who's a great goalie, uh, had a great year. One of the reasons why the Columbus Blue Jackets are there. Did not have a, a stellar game. Um, Brandon Holtby did not start the series. However, since he's come in, he's undefeated. Um, they, they won four in a row. Um, the Columbus Blue Jackets, it's, it's very tough. for we have, a, we have a couple of good friends that are Columbus Blue Jackets fans, and we feel for you. It was tough. They're the, only, they're the only active franchise right now not to ever win a playoff series. But the Columbus Blue Jackets are not going to go away. The Columbus Blue Jackets will be back next year, and they'll be competing, and they'll, go from, they'll grow from here. they got some really good players. they got some good young talent. And uh, we, really, we really like their coach, John Tortorella. Great guy. Um, what else? Ovechkin. You know, Ovechkin, the, their leader, he, he had a great game. He scored two goals, um, including his 50th, 50th NHL playoff goal. And he scored um, his fifth, five total goals in the series. So Ovechkin was a big reason. But it's not just Ovechkin. They got a lot of talent. They got, they got some good, um, good scores up front. And they got, you know, Holtby to shut the door. The difference in this series... The Blue Jackets power play. The Blue Jackets, when they were struggling this year, um, they just could not score on the power play. So in the last four games, the four losses that basically lost them the series, the Columbus Blue Jackets were 0 for 16 on the power play. When you go 0 for 16 on the power play, you're not going to win. All right? So the Washington Capitals go through. We are down to nine teams. The second round is all set. Um, let's run it down for you a little bit. The Washington Capitals will be playing the Pittsburgh Penguins for the third time in a row. And uh, we know the battle is going on there. The uh, Las Vegas Golden Knights will be playing the San Jose Sharks. That's going to be an interesting series. The Nashville Predators, who I think are looking the best in the playoffs this year, are going to play the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, a solid franchise, hungry for a win. Um, Winnipeg Jets 2.0. They're back in the NHL and uh, they deserve it. Their fans are their fans are in there. We're not going to make your predictions just yet. And also, obviously, the last series we're still waiting on. Tampa Bay will be waiting to play the winner of the Toronto Maple Leafs Boston Bruins seventh game death match in Boston tomorrow night. You have to watch this if you're any sort of a hockey fan. Um, it's a very stressful game for me. I don't know how we're going to watch it. We have to watch it, I guess. But um, yeah, Wednesday, tomorrow, afternoon, evening. What are we going to do? Let's just hope it's a good game. Let's just hope Toronto wins. Let's hope Toronto takes this. And uh, it's just scary how, how eerie this this is looking for 2013. Are we going to get up 4-1 to again? You know, what if we get up 4-1 to again and then we blow it again? I don't think so. I think we're going to get up 4-1 to again and we're going to win this time. So there you have it. The wrap-up. Nine teams left including Toronto and Boston. We will be down to eight. We'll be starting the second round um, right after this one ends in the next uh, few days. The last little bit of business, the King Clancy Trophy. Um, the, the team nominees were announced yesterday. I'm not going to go through all of them. So the King Clancy Trophy is the, is the player that best exemplifies leadership qualities on and off the ice, make uh, a noteworthy humanitarian contribution to his community. So every team has a nominee. They will announce the final three top vote getters on, I believe, Monday. A um, couple of the the nominees are um, PK Subban, who does a lot, um, who who has a foundation in Montreal, donated uh, millions and millions of dollars to the a children's hospital. Um, Zdeno Chara, the twins, interesting, the Daniel and Henrik Sedin twins, both got nominated as a package. It's like these guys do everything together. Retiring last year in the NHL, also got nominated. Henrik Lundqvist, great goaltender, veteran goaltender for the Rangers. Sergei Bobrovsky, Tyler Sagan, Ryan Getzlaff. Just some of the nominees of Derek Engeland, um, who, by the way, is a good friend of ours, friend. Um, we have a little bit of a tie with him in Fresno. But, um, yeah, this, this is going to be announced next week. So, there you have it. It was a sad day for us in Toronto. Um you know, we hope that um, the culprit, well, he's arrested and he's going to spend a lot of time in jail. And we hope 
all our thoughts are with everyone in Toronto and everyone that's gone through this. But, um, you know, the Leafs pulled the city together last night. It was a sad day, but they, um, they came, you know, the, the, the fans needed something. The city needed something. And uh, they gave them something last night. So, force the game seven. We're going to be back. Um, we might not have a vlog tomorrow morning. We might. It's just not going to be a wrap-up. It might be a little fun little vlog. Maybe we're going to interview a couple of people here in the house. Spoiler alert. Maybe a six-year-old might have something to say. Um, but, yeah. Wednesday night. That's what we're looking forward to. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be scary. Make sure you do. By the way, we talked about yesterday. Please, we appreciate. We're getting a lot of good comments on our videos. Um, we appreciate if you press the um, subscribe button if you haven't already. Press the like button if you like the video. And please leave a comment down below. We appreciate all the comments. We appreciate all the fans. We're going to grow this log. It's going to get bigger. It's going to get better. It's going to go out to the millions. We're going to be famous. And we're going to make you famous and um, with us as well. A lot of good content coming up. Still a lot of playoffs action to come up. Please also make sure you watch my friends Tony, Uncle Tony's video, and Darren Redmond's uh, Fresno wrap-up, sports wrap-up. This is Serge Bogosian, the hockey guru, wrapping it up today. Have yourself a great day. We'll see you again tomorrow.